Game Beard. Welcome to another Battletech Mercenaries video. Today we're talking about are the older tank and vehicle metal models, are they on par with the new awesome plastic models? Which ones are better? Well, I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to show you side by side and we're going to compare which set of models are better. Which are the losers? Well, I'm trying to say all this stuff to make it sound exciting. You probably already know my answer, but let's view some of these models and discuss them to see what I think. What do you think? Are the older, the older ones better? Do they hold up? So let's look at the models. Here you can see the Von Luchner. Here's the new one, of course, and the old one. The old one is not on a base, so what can I say? Uh, the new one is, is a little bigger and it stands a little taller. Um, I definitely like the new designs. I, I like the new designs on all of these new tanks. So Catalyst definitely gets a plus for that. And I, I do like it that they're all on a base. So Catalyst, like the new models, get a plus for that. Oh, and then of course I love it that you can turn the turret, right? You can, uh, like you don't have to glue the turret and you can, you know, reposition that turret. That's pretty awesome. So, so far the new models are totally demolishing the old, the old models. But I was kind of looking at some of these old models and you know, at first I thought, oh, the new the new models are going to completely invalidate the older models. You know, they're not going to be nearly as good. But at closer inspection, I kind of liked them. I mean, the designs, the shapes on the new models are better. I mean, the old one has a lot of cool lines and has a lot of detail, but the shapes, they're kind of flat, flattish. So, but... That being said, um, with a decent paint job, I don't know, they don't look too terrible. And they do resemble the older technical readouts. So there's a little bit of nice nostalgia there, but definitely liking the newer models a little better. So let's switch them out and let's get a new model. Um, I guess this is the J. Edgar. Let's see if I don't bump that. This one, um, I like the old one. I like the old one even though, again, it's a little flatter. The new one's a little better. Yeah, I like it that you can pivot the, yeah, everything I just said, you know, you can pivot the turret. But, I don't know, I still, I still like the old one. Not as much, but I don't hate it. I, li I like the old one. So the old one can stick around if I need an extra one. Like this could be the older model, right? But definitely not thrown away my old J. Edgar. Okay, I gotta, let's see if I can not hit the camera. Oh, here's one that's kind of interesting. Let's look at the uh, Savannah Master. Um, definitely like the new ones. The older one is smaller. It's hard to see, but I have little, I have little troopers there. Those are epic from Warhammer, epic 40k, epic little figures, and I would like cut them out and kind of glue them on to have like little escorts or, and they're fun for kind of like the diorama of the models. Anyways, I really like that. But yeah, I really love the new, what can I say? I love the new plastics of Animasters. They're great. Um, they're a little, they're a little bigger, but they're great. I, they're fun. They're fun. And I'm glad they were kind of a, a free throw in you know, with the Kickstarter, um, that's a nice touch. I think they should have thrown a couple of those guys into the, uh, I don't know, like the, uh, what are they, like the, with the long tom and the mash unit. I think they could have thrown in uh, a base of these guys to make that box a little more desirable. Speaking of the long tom, let's compare the old long tom. So here's the old one. Oh gosh, trying not to bump the... Yeah, it's not the best angle. And of course, here's the new one. The new one looks great. It's coming. 
me figure out if I'm going to do this correctly. I believe this is the correct way. <laughs> so, um, I like the new one. What can I say? Um, but I, I like the crazy length of the old long tom. It's kind of fun. It's definitely like an objective piece or like for Alpha Strike, like that thing's not going to fit on a hex, right? Like the new one, you know, you can, you can fit it on a hex and then this is like, you know, whatever the secondary hex and it kind of works better. But that old one, you know, I, I kind of glued it onto a big rectangular base and uh, it looks nice for just a battlefield objective. For Alpha Strike, you know, you don't really have hexes, so you can just kind of lay it out there. And I really, I really do like it. Do I like it better than the new one? Oof, good question. I definitely like the design of the new one better, right? I like, I like how, like, the modern kind of look. I like it that you could see, like, the ammo. So, I mean, yeah, I like that, but uh, as far as like both of these models go, I don't know. I really like that old one. Although I, I really embellished, you probably can't see it, but I have a couple little troops down there. You know, again, those were little epic uh, Imperial Guard guys, and I, I was able to glue them on. So, really like that older base. But as far as the new design goes, yeah, I like the new one better. I like it that they're on hexes. I like it that like this will work better in the game. So I don't know, but I definitely like the look. I don't know, I would almost say this is a tie for me personally, right? Like this is a tie. Be just because I like my old long tom, right? Okay, here we have uh, SRMs. The old one is kind of boxy, kind of basic. The new one has better shapes and designs. And I love it that they gave me both like the, like the LRM turret and the SRM turret. So that's like a huge plus. So like they did everything, Catalyst did everything correct about that. That was like, that was awesome. So that was a definite awesomeness. Yeah, and I, I like the design on the new one a little better. But again, I like my old um, SRM. I don't like it better, but I definitely like it. I think it's because I put a lot of work into painting it. I have a lot of burn marks. I got those little decals. I think the decals really help. You know, and I got those nice big flat areas on the old one to kind of put like numbers and like, I got like my, my Davion symbol and stuff like that. So, I mean, I definitely like my old ones. I definitely want to put my old SRM carrier on a hex. And I have some hexes. Um, Reaper Miniatures makes like a little... I don't know, a little pack of hexes and they're cheaper to get so and I've used those for some tokens and things so maybe I will put these older units on those hexes and they can be like older reinforcements or if I'm playing playing like an old mission from I don't know like 3025 or something maybe they have the older <laughs> SRM carriers I don't know but I do like the new one a little better yeah here's a uh, I believe this is the old Shrek. Um, I believe this is the old Shrek. So I definitely like the new one a little better. Um, I like it that it's bigger. It's supposed to be pretty big. But yeah, and, and then the cannons are definitely better, like on the new one. Like they're they're heftier and look really good. Um, these look kind of spindly, but but I do like, there's a lot of nice detail on the old one. Like little crisp, thin little lines that you probably can't see very good. So the old one, it's okay. It looks pretty good. I like it. Oh yeah. Like you can see the little, you won't, you're not going to be able to see this. The little cockpit. Uh, it's like, a, it's out of focus. I don't know, but like right here, I mean, that's pretty crisp because of the metal. That looks nice. You know, my decals and stuff look good. But again, do I like the new one better? Yeah, I do. But I was shocked at how much I still like my old ones. Like, th I don't think they're completely invalidated. I think I can, like I said, if I have an old mission or if they're out on the outskirts and they have, you know, some older versions of these tanks, you know, maybe some of these older tanks might show up just like in a kind of a narrative mission. So definitely, I think I think I could definitely use these 
in the future. Here's my old patent. Oh, if I can get it in there. It's hard to see, but I have, again, I have some old metal troops, you know, like they're kind of riding on the tank. So that, that kind of makes this piece a lot of fun. Um, there is some thin details in there that the newer stuff can't really get. So these older mechs, they do, they do get, you know, the metal gets some finer detail. Is it worth it though? Is it worth the price? Probably not. Um, the newer ones have better shapes and designs, some kind of more modern looking, and they have a lot of benefits. The old ones are smaller, they, they're smaller, they're more expensive, probably. I, I didn't check the price on this, but, um, but the metal feels good, and, and they do have very thin lines that this, that this can't always get. So, but, oops, I bumped, finally I bumped. Do I like the new one better? I'd probably say so. Like I definitely, I'm not going to go buy any old ones. I'm only going to buy new ones if I buy, you know, I guess that's, that's important to, to point out. I'm not going to buy any of the old, old ones anymore. Okay. Let's talk about, um, you're not going to be able to see this, but I'll put it out there. So here's my, my inner sphere power armor. And then I'm going to compare it to the old infantry. So now, I'll move them into place. I got some, those are, I guess those are, um, I painted them as Curita, but these guys might actually be Davion, I don't know. So, these old infantry miniatures are, are, are pretty good, and you can get these on Iron Wind Metals. They're not too expensive. I, I think I checked, they're like 50, I think you get three of these guys for a buck fifty. So they're like 50 cents each. So if you have seven guys on a base, that's like what, 350? Not bad. You have to get a base though. Just get the Reaper bases. So they're kind of nice, but they are kind of big. They're like, these guys are a little taller than the Inner Sphere battle armor. And so they're not really lining up to the new scale. Like these guys are too tall. But, you know, as Catalyst has kind of mentioned, they can't, they can't make infantry any smaller than this. Like they can't make these guys smaller. And so you just have to pick, you know, I don't know, do you want metal infantry then get them get them get a bunch of them from ironwind metals the price wasn't too bad uh or just the um catalyst included a real nice infantry token that i don't have to show you but in the mercenary box you get a couple tokens of infantry and to be honest i kind of like that a lot i mean i like it that i have these guys like i might use these metal figures for like a special scenario like maybe they're a team of commandos, I have to come in and rescue. It's kind of nice to have a three-dimensional model of infantry, but I, I, I agree with Catalyst and the designers. Uh, you know, Anthony, I think he's, you know, he's big on the scale, and I agree with him that these should be smaller, but they're, they're going to have a difficult time making them that way. So I do like the token, um, and I do like these guys. Some people were complaining that these guys are kind of, like, goopy. Um, no, I think they're fine. Like, they're tiny. Like, I'm an old man and it's hard for me to see all the detail in there anyways. So, like, for the amount of detail that they have at on the table, like, they look great. So I really like the Inner Sphere um, power armor. They look pretty good. Oh, I think, here, I'll show you the old ones. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I'm sure you will correct me if I'm wrong. I, I have power armor here. I I think this is inner sphere power armor. They're huge, right? Can you even see them? I believe this is old inner sphere power armor. It's hard to tell. And they're big, right? They're big. But they're kind of nice. Do I like these better than this? Well, I don't like the scale. I mean, I like I like the scale. I like these guys are tiny. I do like these guys. Do I like them better? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing though. You probably won't be able to see it. Let me see if you can see it. I was able to squeeze a decal on their shoulders. Let's see. Can we see it? Let's see if we can focus it. Focus. Can you focus on that number? <laughs> Maybe not. There's a there's a number right there. I was able to squeeze in there. 
So that was pretty sweet. Let me see if I just leave it there, if you'll be able to see it. Maybe it'll focus in on it. Um, I was I was pretty stoked on that. I was able to squeeze in a little paper, as a paper decal. I was able to kind of put it in there, so that was kind of fun. Are these guys too big? I don't know, maybe. Like if that bothers you, yeah, maybe. So do I like them better? I don't know. I take, well, I like them for different reasons. I overall I'm I'm I like the new the new series better. Right? Like I like I like the new plastic inner sphere power armor. I like them. They're awesome. Like I wouldn't buy any of the old metal ones. I'd just buy the plastic ones. But I like the old ones for different reasons. They're bigger, more noticeable. I don't like the scale. I don't like it that they're too big, but I do like them as figures. So, I don't know. Anyways, that's I guess I would say these are a tie. <laughs> these are a tie, but am I going to keep buying these guys? No. I'll just I'll buy, if I need more power armor, I'll buy these guys. I like them. Oh, oh, one another thing I forgot to mention that's another positive to Catalyst is these guys come with cards. They come with like the Battlefield asset cards. So I mean, that's pretty sweet to get those cards. So yeah, that's definitely a plus for these new ones. Well, we're back and we looked at all the models and as you can tell, I like the new ones better, but I was surprised at how much I like the old ones. I still liked them. I thought, I thought that they would be, you know, thrown away. I wouldn't have thrown them away, but I thought I would just put them in a box and forget about them. But I like my older models, uh, my older vehicles, especially like my long Tom looked really good. And I liked my coolant trucks and I liked the level of detail that I put into those older models. Like my, uh, like, what am I looking at here? My old patents. I have my little like artillery, uh, vehicle, and even some of my old, bigger infantry units, the metal ones, I like them, even though they're a little too, they're too big. But it's pretty awesome to have models instead of a paper, uh, like, hex with the infantry. I mean, I like that. I like it. But I prefer to have um, the, the, the models, even though they're a little too big, especially for, like, a special scenario. So it's kind of nice to have those tokens when I need them. But I do agree with the catalyst trend of scale and sizing, but I do like my old models. The old metal models, they do have thinner, more crisp lines and detail. But is that enough? No, it's not. I like the new shapes better. Um, I like the designs, the more modern designs a little better. But because I've grown up on those older designs that aren't as good, I do like these older models that match them, like the Von Luchner. Like the Von Luchner has like, it looks like a little uh, birdhouse in the back. You, you're not gonna be able to see this. It has a little, has a little see, oh, maybe you can. It has a little birdhouse in the back for missile. That's kind of awesome. <clears throat> it's not awesome, you might think. I know, but it reminds me of the old TRO and I don't know, I like it. It's cool, I have it. So I'm definitely going to hold on to those older models and use them for special scenarios. Perhaps, um, like I said, it's, an, it's a planet. It has older technology, you know. It hasn't updated its tanks. And so these are the older models, and they look real nice. So those old metal models look pretty good. I definitely like the modern designs for, like, the HQ command vehicle and the mash unit like those are really awesome so yeah so I like the new ones better and I probably wouldn't even though I like some of the old designs like the long tom like I like the old long tom but am I gonna buy another old long tom no I probably wouldn't I would just buy a new plastic one like I would just continue to get those so anyways those look good I um I use decals paper decals on my models. You may or may not like those, but in an upcoming video, I will show you, they're so delicate and tiny. I'll show you how to use them, and then I'll put up some basic, generic, warning labels, decals, paper, and you can print them out, along with checkerboards and um, like warning stripes and things like that. 
So that's probably going to be my next Battletech video. So if you like Battletech videos, subscribe and you'll get some more videos. We, I also do videos for different games. It's just right now, Mercenaries is um, out and that's what I'm focusing on. But soon there will be Cthulhu Death May Die and then in the future Conan from Monolith and also Shadows of Brimstone. And then of course my game, uh, Junk Runner Skirmish. You can find my game, it's free to download, the, the core game. You can just go to GameBeard.com and download that game and you can download the rules. You start playing that right away. Well, <clears throat> you have to build all the models, but but you can start building the models right away and you can uh, have some fun. So anyways, thanks for watching this video um, and I'll see you in the next video. So now I, I just wanna show you some other models that I painted. Um, this is extra. You can kind of check it out. And um, this is just bonus. So after I've made my final judgment on which, which models are better. Well, let's look at some of these other models I painted. Here's my MASH unit and here is my HQ unit. I don't have these in the old metal, but oh, I'll turn this guy around. But I, I will say um, I definitely like these better than the old metal. I don't have the old metal, but they were really blocky and simple. Um, I really like these new designs. They're they're great. So I, I definitely painted these guys. I only have like one of each. I kind of want another set, but I don't know. We'll see if I ever pick one up. I mean, these really are just kind of for objectives, but they're really fun. I really like objectives like this. So these are very well done and I definitely like these better than the old, old school. Oh, here's just something. Um, I, I, <laughs> I don't 100% remember what these are. I believe these are the Alacron tank. I don't know. They're not, they're not, I think these are uh, newer. I think they might, I don't know. I forget which era they're from, uh, Jihad maybe. I don't know. But these I really like. These are old metals and they look great. Again, they're kind of flat looking. I'm sure Anthony Scroggins, if he does one of these, I'm sure it will have a cooler design. than This is pretty flat. This is pretty flat looking, but I do like them. I think they look great. And again, I think, I think it matters like uh, they look great in my opinion because I put a lot of love into the whatever, the texturing or the, the weathering and the decals. They have nice big areas for those decals and they do have thin lines. So I feel like they look really nice. Even if um, Catalyst updates these and makes these better, I'm sure they will be better, but these are nice to have and I could definitely populate, you know, a battlefield with some of these. But you know, I probably wouldn't mix them with the new ones. I probably just like, if I need a couple old tanks, I'd probably use the old ones. I don't know. Like I like, I would, I would want them to be similar. Oh, here's my, um, here's my old coolant trucks. I like these. I hate to say it. Now, I don't have the new coolant truck. It's coming in a, what, like a, I think it's like the Star League pack number two. It's coming out. So I think they have a new, they have a new coolant truck coming out, which is probably better I mean it looked it looked good like I like the design but I must say that I I also like these old designs I mean the, these match the old TROs so hey what can I say that looks good when I bought these they were they didn't feel very I don't remember how much I paid for them but they it was a it was a pretty decent price so I was able to get a I got like four of these and they're kind of fun I like it that it's like a big old fire engine I don't know it's it's good times the new one definitely looks more modern and cool yeah but I guess my point is, is I like these and these are a lot of fun. De like I said, I could definitely use these on an older, like a planet that has less modern resources. You know, Battletech is, is like a, his <laughs> a, a future historical game where some planets don't have all the modern resources. They might have some of these older coolant trucks. So it's all good, but I definitely, these are the old ones. I definitely like these. These are definitely keepers. Oh, and here's something, um, I don't know. I forget the name on this, but it's an ordnance carrier. It's an ordnance carrier. It's got some missiles and stuff. This is a lot of fun. The question is, do I want Catalyst to make this? Maybe, um, but I'd hate to. I'd hate for this to count as one of my models. Like if they threw this in as like extra bits or something, that'd be great. But like, I don't know. I think I'd rather have like a a mech 
you know, or a, a big tank instead of this. Like they might even do something goofy like, like this is a hex. I would hate that. Like if that was a hex and then this is like another hex. Oh no, I wouldn't like that. But I do like this old model. This is an old, uh, these are nice to have. Again, just to kind of um, battlefield objectives or just kind of uh, decorate my battlefield. This looks real nice. I forget the exact name, but it's like ordnance carrier or something. Okay, well, here's my Visigoth. Let's see if this is gonna is this gonna be too close? I whoop! I painted my Visigoth. Is that in focus? Looks like it is. I painted him black, kind of like the Blackbird. Um, I, you know, I wasn't hundred percent sure. I, I I got two of these, and I painted them both black right away. But I should have only painted. There's like a character in the um, Legends Two book. I think it's purple. I think it would have been nice to paint that. Uh, character but I don't know this looks kind of nice one reason why I like to paint like generic colors for my vehicles is that it kind of creates like a, a faction agnostic unit so I could use this for any you know clan unit right here's my uh, I don't know what's this guy hunter I forget what this guy's called my little uh, he's gonna come in focus maybe he's got that I don't know. These are great. Um, oh, I painted. I painted. Can you even see it? Painted underneath is lighter camo. I got like a blue and a blue and a green. Okay, let's put some heavies out there. I forget the names of all these. Ontos and what's this other one? I don't know. Behemoth maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look at the cards. These are a lot of fun to paint. When I painted them, I uh, <clears throat> I used a sponge. Let's see, can you see that texture? Maybe. But I would use a sponge, I would have a little sponge, and I would like sponge on the texture. But this way, they're just kind of generic. I did have two different colors though. So I have like a blue camo, kind of like maybe maybe more of a city, and then I just got the traditional green, green camo. And uh, I just kind of painted them all up that way. I have two of each set. So that's a lot of sets. I have. And so what I did was, is I have like, you know, I have basically all the vehicles in this blue and all these vehicles in that kind of green camo. I used a lot of paper decals. Um, I'll have a video soon talking about paper decals just because they're cheaper. And I mean, they're obviously not as good as a regular decal, right? But because I can use Photoshop, I can change the fonts of my numbers. I can paint, print them out. They're not, they're not as good as regular decals, but it saves me a lot of money. And from a distance, they look great. So that's my, that's my kind of solution for a lot of those little details. A lot of people that may not, may not approve. <laughs> that's fine. You can use real decals and pay a lot of money. Okay, here's my, um, I forget what these are called. So I got a couple more mech uh, vehicles here. Almost said mechs. So here they are, they look good. One nice thing I like, I don't know if you can see it, but I, I use my paper decals and then I always paint a little bit of dirt smudge on top of my numbers and stuff like that so they look more natural, I guess is the word. I don't know. But anyways, there they are. These are fun. What else am I going to show you? Oh, I got the, I don't know. Is this the behemoth? <clears throat> I don't know. I'll have to look at the cards. These are fun. So again, I painted all these guys. I had I had a summer, you know, I, I'm a teacher, so I had I had summer break. So luckily for me, I got my models earlier than a lot of you. And I I was happy and blessed, and then I was able to paint them all. I didn't paint all my mechs, I painted all my vehicles. Um, and I, I am busy doing other things, but here you can see my um it might be tiny, but I have decals for my uh, checkers. And that's real nice. So it's just I cut it out paper and I glue it on. I'll have a I'll have a video about that. Uh, it's probably the next video. So and I'll, you can use some of my checkers. So I got checkers. I got different colors of checkers. But if you, I mean, you could paint your checkers, but man, that's that's a chore. Easier just to cut them out and glue them on, and they look pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's raised on the edge a little bit. But it's difficult to see. I mean, if it bothers you that it's raised, fine. Paint, paint all your imperfect checkers and don't use my, um, you know, 
my system. Here I got some more, I got some more hovercraft. Let's put them out there. Again, that's not my same scheme. They look good. Is this the, is that the, is that the Hertzer? I forget. And then this is like the, the Galleon maybe? A little transport. I love these. These guys are great. So these look like the old Crusher Joe. So they, I love these new designs. I didn't have these in the old metals. So, um, uh, so that was, I was, I had some old metal tanks, but I, that's, you know, I was pretty stoked to be able to get a good representation of all the different, you know, vehicles and stuff like that, which is kind of nice. I mean, this is kind of goofy. I, actually, it's not goofy. I like it, but it's just, it's, I'm familiar with it. I don't, I don't, I didn't, I never had any of the models, but now, now I have them in, uh, plastic and they, they look great. Here are these guys. Oh, bumped. So there they are. Look pretty good. Fun. I don't know if you can see it. I have a little like my little little chevrons. It's a decal. Looks nice. Can you see? Can you see any of these? I don't know. Decals. They're so tiny. I'll have a video. I'll have a video. You, you'll be able to get paper decals if you want. They sell decals, Fighting Piranha, so I mean you can get you can get that stuff too. Here we go. We got uh, Hovercraft. That's the big one. <laughs> Forgot its name. And finally, I'll just put it out there. Here's my big LRM. So, um, is that all? I believe so. Had a lot of fun painting these. I got a lot of these guys. It was fun. So if you haven't received your shipment yet, that's a bummer. Hopefully you'll get them soon and you can have a lot of fun painting them. Um, definitely don't, I, <clears throat> I wouldn't glue your turrets down. I wouldn't glue these down. Some of them kind of, like if you clean them really good and they don't have that gunk in the middle, they, uh, they might pop off a little easier. But if you like prime your I don't know, like the, the whatever, the hole, the socket, and then the little, I don't know what you'd call it, the nub thing. If you prime that stuff, it had paint on it, it'll, it will make it stick in the socket a little better and it won't pop off. It's kind of weird because you can imagine the paint on the inside is kind of rubbing off. It's probably a mess, but it does keep it from, it keeps it tighter, you know, and so they don't really fall off. And, and these are real, uh, it's real nice to be able to turn those those turrets. Oh, it's fun. I, I think that's keep bumping. So it's definitely nice to be able to do that. That's a huge plus to me. That's definitely a bonus. So I guess that's it for showing off a lot of these models.